Swearing incoming. Turn away quickly if you have porcelain ears. Hello and welcome to this review of my Orbitouch keyboard. This was a donation from a viewer. Thanks again, mate. I've actually had it for months already, but I figured this would make a good end of year video considering how weird it is. And as you'll have no doubt picked up on by now, it is a keyless keyboard. Or a board, I guess you could call it. Now, to be fair, although this whole thing, which looks a bit like someone glued two computer mice on top of a DJ mixing set, is about ten different flavours of what the fuck, the irony of a keyless keyboard didn't escape the designers either. It's marked as such all over the box and it's actually used as a marketing tool. It's essentially a special, or special, ergonomic keyboard intended for people with, according to them, a wide range of disabilities. Now, you might think that that explains a lot, but I have previously reviewed other keyboards for disabled or handicapped people, such as this Moltron, which is intended for people with the use of only one hand. However, frankly, even if I did have only one hand, I'd still rather use a normal keyboard than this shit-kicking pile of horse manure. Honestly, look at it. It looks like it's made to hold a butt cheek. It's a diaper keyboard. If you want to see me verbally rip this thing apart, watch the video I made on it a while ago, by the way. Jesus Christ's vinegary ball sack. This is one of the worst pieces of dog shit I've ever come across. And what's more, this was actually corroborated in the comments by people who were thusly disabled, so even the target audience apparently didn't like it. I guess the Orbitouch doesn't quite work for people who've lost the use of a whole arm, like with the Moltron though, because it does require two hands to operate. Although because it has no keys, you don't need to use your fingers, so this is aimed more at people with, for example, arthritis or cerebral palsy. Although it's not great for that either, but we'll get to that in a minute. But considering its weirdness, it, it is probably very well suited for the true blue Max Ergo enthusiasts. So how does it work? Well, you use these two discs here to create a unique input, very similar to semaphore flag signaling, actually. The left disc shows the functions printed on it, with the sections grouped together in eight different sectors, coded by color. And then the right one only has the colored sectors, which allows you to select a specific function from each of the function groups on the left wheel. So basically, you just push these discs into two specific sectors to create a combination input, which is unique for each scan code output. They claim it's suitable for blind people as well, but I'm not quite sure how this would help blind people considering you need to do a fair bit of close looking to see what you're supposed to do. Apart from the colours being difficult to distinguish in low light conditions, for some reason they made the legends on the left wheel really, really tiny and <laughs> what's more, they're not even correct. To illustrate what I mean, let me just zoom in for a second so you can see what's going on here. So for example, see this thing here? That's not a hyphen, it's actually a full stop, or period, in imperial units. So where is the hyphen, you ask? It's actually this sector, plus violet. Violet, I hear you thinking, I don't see any violet on this. And you are correct, that colour is not violet, it's purple. This is purple, that is violet. But the thing is, they left off all the violet shortcuts off of the keyboard. Why? <laughs> Fuck if I know. The only reason I figured out that it was this plus violet at all was because I looked it up in the manual, or unmanual as they called it. I'm not sure why they did that, probably just a joke or something. Interestingly, I'm dealing with a rather painful and annoying shoulder tendon impingement injury right now, which I got from swimming, so I guess you could say I'm slightly disabled myself at the moment, and even though I'm an ibuprofen right now, using this keyboard is painful, because you need to keep holding the left disc while you select with the other disc, and after using this for a while, it starts to hurt, and it's impossible for even minute tasks not to take a while when using this fucking tit board. I mean, <laughs> look at it. It <laughs> looks like you're rubbing someone's tits. So in the trailer I made for this keyboard, I recorded a two minute segment of me typing the keyless keyboard, which I had to speed up by about 30% in order to fit inside of the video fragment. And that was after six or seven takes as well. So not even my first attempt because I kept making mistakes and I didn't want that in the trailer. 
but point in case being, even after some practice with the exact sentence I wanted to type, I was down to three words in two minutes, so one and a half WPM. That's not great. And let's not forget that that was in a take in which I didn't even make any mistakes either. I mean, I'm no expert, but it seems to me that if you had arthritis or something else, even with something as simple as a big touchscreen or a gesture pad, I mean, surely something like that must exist, or even just speech to text, you would do a lot better with one of those than with this thing. Plus, that would require a lot less time to get accustomed to, I reckon. I really wanted to use it for a week, but I just rage quit at some point halfway or something. Even though I was only using it at home, not at work, and only for typing, not gaming, I just wanted it to stop. Even the tiniest tasks are drawn out to such insufferable lengths with this tit-shaped piece of dog shit that every second of every minute I could do nothing but want it to end to use anything else but this fucking jug board. I mean, I'm surrounded by hundreds of keyboards, many of which are extremely excellent, and I'm down to single digit words per minute because of this whimsical contraption. One thing to point out is that it's utterly impossible to play games on it, not because it's too terrible, even though it is, but because you don't have the option of holding keys down. So just pressing W to walk forward doesn't even work. But even with just a few days of only typing, I can say with absolute certainty that I utterly hate this vile machination. What pea-brained moronic dickweed farmer thought that this was even a remotely acceptable idea? What the fuck were they thinking? So apart from being slow and painful to operate if you have an incidental shoulder injury, it's really easy to make mistakes on it too because there really isn't any feedback from the device as to where you pushed it, and there are no dividers between the sectors, it just goes all the way around like this. It's like using a controller with two giant analog sticks, except you use your whole arm to control each one, and they both have eight sectors rather than just four. And, unlike a controller, you don't get a free aimbot with it everywhere, although in this case it might actually be fair if they did. Particularly the purple input characters go wrong all the time, it's fucking atrocious. Why couldn't they have put dividers in there or something? I mean, look at this. Or just a light that indicates what you're selecting or anything to help you, really. If you're wondering, you can use it as a mouse, by the way but I wouldn't advise it. You do it by double sliding down to go into mouse mode, like so, and subsequently using the right disc to move around. But it's painfully slow, and what's more, considering the discs are basically shaped like mice anyway, why not just use an actual mouse? I mean, <laughs> what's the point? And before you say, aha, but what if you can't click? The mouse buttons are shortcuts on the left disc, so you can just use your right hand to mouse around and then use the left hand to click. Plus, I think that even if you're arthritic, pressing down a mouse button with the side of your hand or something like that would be possible, to be honest. Similarly, there are no dedicated arrow buttons on this thing, which would have been perfectly implementable with a simple joystick or whatever, but you don't, so you have to either use the crappy mouse function or keep switching to a real mouse for even just the tiniest little thing. I mean, was it too much to ask for a little joystick in the middle or something? Also, did I mention it costs fucking $400? Yeah, no joke, and they still sell them, by the way. Feeding into that, the build quality of the thing is really terrible. It's just a hollow plastic arse with hollow plastic tits slapped on it. And it's not small, this thing, either. It's roughly the size of a Dell Bigfoot, but it weighs only a little bit over a kilo, or one three hundred billionths the weight of an Imperial Measurement System user. It's just such a crock of shit, I honestly believe this would cost less than $10 to make and put on the shelves. Really, <laughs> really I think the margins on this thing must be through the roof. The plastic isn't completely smooth, thank god, but if you get sweaty hands it becomes really gross and slippery very quickly. And speaking of slippery, they coated the bottom of the keyboard with some sort of non-slip surface, but it still moves around like a rabid hooker if you try to type, well, <laughs> type on it. So $400 and you're getting a slimy Tupperware bubble that floats around your desk. Great.
Apart from how slow, and in my specific case painful, it is how to use it, it just feels so limited in what it can do. Imagine doing Alt F4 on this thing. Yeah, it's technically possible, but you're going to have to look at the manual to learn how to do it, because the F keys aren't indicated on the wheel, and Alt is indicated wrong, not to mention you have to perform the actual rain dance required for something that's otherwise as simple as just, you know, click, click. Even just writing out would be easier than doing it on this thing. And that's kind of the point I'm getting at. Honestly, I feel like I'd be better off just swaffling my dick on a touchpad and it would be faster than rubbing old Mrs. Tits McGee over here. It's just so pointless and useless. What deep fried ass meatball thought that taking two big dumps on a plate, spray painting it black and shipping it off as a $400 input device was in any way acceptable? Laughably, the website says that it only takes a few hours to get used to, to which I say, your mother only takes a few hours to get used to. I mean, <laughs> shitting titfuck, man. I really hate this thing. <laughs> so, for more than the price of an IBM Model F Repro keyboard, or two Wooting Hall Effect keyboards, you can get a botched boob job on a plate that you manipulate by rubbing it like a magic fucking lamp. Hip hip who fucking ray, everybody. We got ourselves a winner. Overall, fuck this shit. And you know what? The worst is, I bet people spoon this crap up like porridge. I bet people love this thing, even though it's literally flipping them off right in the face. I mean, look at the logo. There must be so many better ways to do this concept. Why is everything ergo always so useless and so needlessly weird? That's it for this review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And following as a typing demonstration of me typing on this board. What the fuck?
turn away exclamation mark it. Time for a drink. Fucking hell.